Well, joining us now is Greenpeace Energy campaigner Steve Abel. Good morning to you, Steve. Morning. What the Anadarko crew is doing out there is not illegal. They've been given permission to do this. So what are you hoping to achieve with your protests? Sure. Um, I mean, the government has clearly opened up extensively our coastlines to this risky deep sea oil drilling. That's exactly what we're there protesting. And we're protesting um, because New Zealand's future doesn't belong in this sort of risky activity. Uh, we belong and there's much more prosperity for us in pursuing the clean economic opportunities that the world is crying out for. So you're trying to obstruct them here, not, not just trying to raise awareness about what they're doing? Um, we believe that while well, they are protesting within 500 metres of the ship that they are not able to drill. And you plan to stay there for how long? The Vega intends to stay there as long as it can, yeah. So, I mean, this could be open-ended, they could be out there for weeks? Potentially, potentially, yep. Yeah. But I mean, uh, the, the skipper of the Bob Douglas has said that if the Vega doesn't move, uh, that we are hindering their ability to drill and they'll call on the authorities to remove the Vega. And the team is all perfectly prepared to be arrested? They understand fully the consequences of uh, their potential action. And then what? You're hauled off to jail How, and, and drilling goes ahead? Well, I think it's, you know, this, as the sun rises on this protest, um, it may come to an end soon, but it is only one step in an ongoing national campaign to ensure that our future is not this risky deep sea drilling, but is in the clean economy. And so this is a national campaign. This weekend there's a public protest midday at West Coast beaches all up the uh, west coast of the North Island saying no to this sort of drilling and this is but one step in an ongoing campaign. Now the, the flotilla that's gone out there, have they all sailed into position? Yep. And was that very deliberate? Because obviously the demand for oil is one of the reasons that Anadarko is drilling. Uh, the, all the skippers that were available, available were yachts, were sailing boats. Um, we would have welcomed a fishing boat. We had a fishing boat out at uh, the Petrobras protest that stopped the deep sea drilling out there at the Whanau Panui. Uh, in this instance, they're all yachts. So it wasn't a deliberate uh, part of the protest to use boats that are not consuming oil? Uh, in this instance, it wasn't. But the point is that um, we are dependent on oil now as, an, as, as a society. We need to move away from that dependency because if we look at what's happening in the Philippines now, that sort of disaster, we're going to see more of that if we don't do something about climate change. So exactly what the message of this is, is that our future is in clean energy and New Zealand sure, can be on the sure. forefront of that. As I mentioned to you at the beginning, what they're doing is not illegal. So shouldn't your protest be aimed at the government that's actually allowed this to happen? And it is at the government too. It's both at Anadarko and the government. We don't belong selling our soul to a dodgy Texan oil company and it's our government that is doing that. Okay, can I just um, leave the issue of, of Anadarko alone for a moment because overnight there has been um, some of the Greenpeace activists in Russia bailed. One of them is a Kiwi, uh, the other I understand hasn't yet been bailed. Do you know when maybe he'll be eligible for bail? Um, David Hausman has been bailed this morning. Um, that does not mean that, um, that he is going to be allowed to leave Russia. Um, they still face these charges um, of piracy, which are completely unreasonable. Have you spoken to David Hausman? Is he OK? Uh, he's doing very well, given the circumstances. All of them have been are doing, you know, have been very brave and, uh, in the circumstances, which are far from comfortable in terms of the uh, detention mm. that they're under. So when can you expect to get um, Mr Beesham out of jail? Uh, we don't know. His hearing is still yet to, to occur on that. Uh, we hope that he will... Uh, be bailed also. It's, it's certainly an optimistic step, but by no means the end of the situation for the people in Russia. Indeed. Thank you, Steve. That is Steve Abel from Greenpeace. Thank you.